How to stay cool in headway. Hi George. How are you doing? Not bad. I've just finished my work. Heatwave has arrived across the globe. I cannot sleep well without air conditioning. I feel a lot hotter than heat index implies. Unreasonable heat has driven me exhausted after work. As you spend many hours working outdoors, you should really take extra precautions. I'm trying to stay cool at the construction site. The hot weather will cause heart disease, and it's extremely dangerous. I remain mindful of how my body feels now. If you feel sick, you should respond appropriately. Absolutely. I keep track of my heart rate regularly with my wearable fitness device. As you sweat more, please be reminded to drink enough water. Thanks. Working outside in hot weather is easy to get dehydrated. How often do you drink water? To stay hydrated, I drink plenty of water in every 15 minutes. It's also better to drink water, even when I'm not feeling thirsty. Do you drink any alcohol and caffeine? No. It should be avoided, because too much alcohol and caffeine can lead to dehydration. I bring a bottle with me to the job, and refill water throughout the day. Dehydration can contribute to fatigue. Can you refill water easily? Yes. The free access to drinking water is close to my work area. Is your uniform breathable and comfortable? Are you feeling hot? The long-sleeved uniform is specially designed by my employer. The light-colored fabrics can wick sweat away from my skin. I feel drier and cooler. The lightweight and loose-fitting clothes can help reducing heat load on my body. I also wear a portable neck fan, which can keep me cool, while spending long days outside. I always keep several cooling cloth in the icebox. During working outside, it can help maintaining body temperature by placing on the back of my neck. In addition, I wear safety glasses and brimmed hat to protect against harmful UV rays. To avoid severe sunburn, Using sun cream is also a must for my face and neck. As you're sweating continually during work, please be reminded to reapply sun cream regularly as an effective measure. Right. The sweat can reduce the amount of protection. My boss has made special arrangements for working in hot weather. What are they? He has modified work schedule to cooler periods in daytime, and cooler places. I now start work at 6 a.m. every morning. During the cooler morning hours, I handle tougher job first. Your boss is considerate, and it can avoid working during the hottest point of the day. As I'm responsible for performing heavy work, my boss allows me to work for 45 minutes, and rest for 15 minutes. Such arrangement can avoid me from working in the hot environment for prolonged periods of time. Taking more breaks in extreme heat is very important. It can conserve your energy and cool down before continuing your work. I take rest with water breaks in the shelters that are equipped with ventilation facilities, such as fan and blower, for increasing airflow. Do you know that the productivity can be maximized if we take 15-minute break after working for one hour or more? Really? I personally think that the number of the rest periods and their respective durations should also depend on the dangerous heat conditions. It's lucky that my boss is quite reasonable. He always reminds us to pay attention to the body and the symptoms of heat illness. He also encourages us to remove the protective gear during breaks. Why? It's inconvenient for you to wear and take off the clothes 
as you've many breaks. It can cool off more quickly. If temperature, humidity, and sunshine increases, it would also lead to declining physical capacity. He requests us to stop working when feeling heat-related discomfort, such as headache, dizziness, and fainting. Except for health issue, it may also cause safety incident. It's true. My colleague was suffered from heat exhaustion last week. Our trained safety assistant got him out of the sun and into a cooler setting. The heat illness was cured by taking necessary first aid. After rehydration and rest, he finally recovered. He was lucky. If he was suffered from heat stroke, medical advice must be sought immediately. Working in hot weather is dangerous. Please take extra note of it. I would ensure to sleep sufficiently and eat healthily. To have a strong body, I aim for sleeping eight hours per day and stay away from junk food. As exposure to heat can cause death, my children worry about me every day. Global warming is the result of our behavior. We burnt coal, natural gas, and oil, and emitted tremendous tons of carbon dioxide. We bear the consequence now. To cope with extreme heat, everyone should take precautions. You should also keep cool in hot weather. I usually stay indoors during the peak hours of the sun. I walk in the shade and apply sunscreen. I always keep hydrated by drinking cold water. My mother is not feeling well recently because overheating affects her heart problem. Elder people are at higher risk due to their long-term illness. Please take good care of your mother. Talk to you next time. I'll have dinner with my family at the restaurant. Bye. Let's catch up later. See you. See you. How to deal with dehydration. If I feel thirsty and dizzy, what can I do? If I feel thirsty and dizzy, what can I do? You're probably dehydrated. The signs of dehydration also include dry mouth, fatigue, and decreased urination. You should drink plenty of water for rehydration immediately. You're probably dehydrated. The signs of dehydration also include dry mouth, fatigue, and decreased urination. You should drink plenty of water for rehydration immediately. What's the frequency of drinking water for avoiding dehydration? What's the frequency of drinking water for avoiding dehydration? To stay hydrated, it's important to drink before you feel thirsty, especially in extreme heat. Even when we're at home, we should form the habit of drinking water regularly, for example, at least every hour. To stay hydrated, it's important to drink before you feel thirsty, especially in extreme heat. Even when we're at home, we should form the habit of drinking water regularly, for example, at least every hour. I like outdoor activities, especially hiking. How to prevent dehydration? I like outdoor activities, especially hiking. How to prevent dehydration? We should start the activity hydrated and keep drinking water every 20 minutes during prolonged times of being outdoors. Please also take frequent breaks in a cool place, if possible. We should always watch out if there are any signs of dehydration. We should start the activity hydrated and keep drinking water every 20 minutes during prolonged times of being outdoors. Please also take frequent breaks in a cool place, if possible. We should always watch out if there are any signs of dehydration. I stay hydrated during exercising. What else should I take note to prevent heat exhaustion? 
I stay hydrated during exercising. What else should I take note to prevent heat exhaustion? Please try wearing light colored, loose fitting, and lightweight clothes. They help keeping cool of your body and preventing from sweating. You should perform exercising in the morning or the late afternoon by minimizing direct exposure of the skin to sunlight. Please try wearing light colored, loose fitting, and lightweight clothes. They help keeping cool of your body and preventing from sweating. You should perform exercising in the morning or the late afternoon by minimizing direct exposure of the skin to sunlight. If I delay drinking water, what's the possible impact? If I delay drinking water, what's the possible impact? Recovering from dehydration is your priority. If left untreated, dehydration can lead to heat exhaustion. Recovering from dehydration is your priority. If left untreated, dehydration can lead to heat exhaustion. How does it cause heat exhaustion? How does it cause heat exhaustion? If we exercise vigorously or work in a hot environment, heavy sweating occurs. Heat exhaustion happens if we cannot cool our body by drinking sufficient water. If we exercise vigorously or work in a hot environment, heavy sweating occurs. Heat exhaustion happens if we cannot cool our body by drinking sufficient water. What can be done when encountering heat exhaustion? What can be done when encountering heat exhaustion? You should stop all activities, move out of sunlight to a cooler place, and loosen any tight clothing. Please rehydrate immediately for cooling down the body temperature. You should stop all activities, move out of sunlight to a cooler place, and loosen any tight clothing. Please rehydrate immediately for cooling down the body temperature. I forget to drink water regularly when focusing on my work. What should I do? I forget to drink water regularly when focusing on my work. What should I do? You should set alarms or notifications as reminders by using your smart device throughout the day. Please be reminded to carry a water bottle along with you. You should set alarms or notifications as reminders by using your smart device throughout the day. Please be reminded to carry a water bottle along with you. Who are at higher risk for dehydration? Who are at higher risk for dehydration? We should take extra care of elders, infants, young children, and patients with chronic illness. We should take extra care of elders, infants, young children, and patients with chronic illness. Why do elders not drink enough water? Why do elders not drink enough water? Elders are less aware of becoming dehydrated because the thirst response becomes weaker. Hence, they may not drink enough water in extreme heat. Elders are less aware of becoming dehydrated because the thirst response becomes weaker. Hence, they may not drink enough water in extreme heat. How to survive in hot weather. Top five things that we should do for survival in hot weather. Number five. Prepare our home for a heat wave. If the home is not equipped with air conditioning, a fan can keep the air flowing with good ventilation. A dehumidifier, which can regulate the amount of moisture in the air, may be an added option for making our home comfortable. If the internal environment can be kept at moderate humidity, it can avoid our body overheating, as well as alleviating mold growth and pest infestations within the home. During sleeping at night, we should open the window and let some cooler air in. During daytime, we should close our blinds or curtains facing the sun. If the electrical equipment is not in use, we should switch off and unplug it. To avoid increasing the heat in our home, we should reduce heat-making activities, for example, using oven 
or cooker. Number 4. Schedule outdoor activities in the morning or the late evening. We should try to shift our activities in the coolest part of the day. We should take the temperature into consideration when planning our day by avoiding high energy activities between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. We can minimize direct exposure of the skin to the hottest sunlight of the day. We should plan ahead and avoid being outdoors in the heat, if possible. Taking frequent breaks can also allow our body to cool down. If we underestimate the issue, it may cause serious health impact. We can explore public places with air conditioning, such as libraries, indoor playground, indoor stadium, and shopping malls. It's free, and we can take a rest or walk around during the hottest hours of the day. Number 3. Protect ourselves outdoors. If we must work or exercise outdoors, wearing lightweight, light-colored, and loose-fitting clothing can help preventing from sweating. Please take an umbrella or a wide-brimmed hat for protecting against harmful UV rays. We should apply sun cream on the face, back of the neck, and other exposed parts for avoiding sunburn. We should maintain a close watch on the news from the weather reports. Under the influence of prolonged heat, we should stay on the alert and adjust our outdoor activities because the heat can have a serious effect on our physical health. Number 2. Check on family members, elders, and pets. We should watch out for early signs of heat-related illness, especially for elders and children. Elders may be less aware of becoming dehydrated due to their deterioration. Children are easier to have trouble regulating temperature as compared with that of adults. To remind them staying hydrated, we should be patient and communicate with them repeatedly. For the pets, we should provide them with plenty of water and shade. We should also limit pets' exercise or arrange the walk with pets in the early morning or late afternoon. Number 1. Drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. When engaging activities or working outdoors, we should drink water at least every 20 minutes, for hydration. It's better to drink before we feel thirsty, because of the heavy loss of fluids from our body, in extreme heat. We should always carry a water bottle, and drink more water than usual. If we feel dry mouth, it has already been a simple sign of dehydration. Our body reminds us to drink water immediately. If left untreated, we may feel heavy sweating, dizzy, and very tired, leading to heat exhaustion. Even at home, we should also drink water regularly, for example, every hour to keep hydrated. By setting alarms or notifications in our smart device, it can remind us for drinking sufficient water throughout the day. Most importantly, we should avoid drinking sugary, caffeinated, and alcoholic drinks. Finally, we should stay alert to the possibility of heat-related illnesses. In case of any symptoms, we should stop all activities and move out of sunlight to a cooler place. For any uncertainty, please seek medical advice right away. How to choose hydrating drinks. What's the healthiest and fastest way to stay hydration in extreme heat? What's the healthiest and fastest way to stay hydration in extreme heat? Drinking water is the best option because it does not contain any calories. We should drink water regularly throughout the day. Drinking water is the best option because it does not contain any calories. We should drink water regularly throughout the day. Why do we drink plenty of water in hot weather? Why do we drink plenty of water in hot weather? We lose too much fluids from the body 
due to sweating. The fluids are essential to support our digestive system and metabolism. Otherwise, our organs cannot function well. We lose too much fluids from the body due to sweating. The fluids are essential to support our digestive system and metabolism. Otherwise, our organs cannot function well. How does dehydration impact our organs and cells? How does dehydration impact our organs and cells? It can result in kidney failure, high blood pressure, joint pain, impaired brain and stomach. It can result in kidney failure, high blood pressure, joint pain, impaired brain and stomach. If our water intake is too little outdoors, what's the consequence? If our water intake is too little outdoors, what's the consequence? You may have heavy sweating, dizziness, headache, and rapid heart rate. They are the symptoms of heat exhaustion. It can lead to life-threatening heat stroke if left untreated. You may have heavy sweating, dizziness, headache, and rapid heart rate. They are the symptoms of heat exhaustion. It can lead to life-threatening heat stroke if left untreated. What are the symptoms of heat stroke? What are the symptoms of heat stroke? Some of the symptoms include high body temperature, confusion, coma, vomiting, headache, rapid breathing and heart rate. Medical advice must be sought immediately. Some of the symptoms include high body temperature, confusion, coma, vomiting, headache, rapid breathing and heart rate. Medical advice must be sought immediately. What kinds of drinks should be avoided if we take in too much? What kinds of drinks should be avoided if we take in too much? We should limit the consumption of sugary beverages with little nutritional value, such as sports drinks, energy drinks, and artificial fruit drinks. We should limit the consumption of sugary beverages with little nutritional value, such as sports drinks, energy drinks, and artificial fruit drinks. I drink sugary drinks daily. What's the problem? If I drink too much in extreme heat, I drink sugary drinks daily. What's the problem if I drink too much in extreme heat? You'll sweat more, especially in outdoor activities. Sugary drinks are usually high in calories and sugar, which causes the rise of your blood sugar level. You'll feel fatigue, and it may lead to heat exhaustion. You'll sweat more especially in outdoor activities. Sugary drinks are usually high in calories and sugar, which causes the rise of your blood sugar level. You'll feel fatigue, and it may lead to heat exhaustion. Are coconut and watermelon water the alternatives to water for keeping hydrated? Are coconut and watermelon water the alternatives to water for keeping hydrated? No. Drinking too much coconut water may lead to excess consumption of sugar and potassium. It would affect your kidney and should not be consumed too much every day. No. Drinking too much coconut water may lead to excess consumption of sugar and potassium. It would affect your kidney and should not be consumed too much every day. Drinking too much watermelon water may also cause people gas, diarrhea, vomiting, or other digestive issues. Drinking too much watermelon water may also cause people gas, diarrhea, vomiting, or other digestive issues. How about electrolyte water and sport drinks? Can they replace water for hydration? How about electrolyte water and sport drinks? Can they replace water for hydration? No. Drinking too much electrolyte water or sport drinks may lead to excess consumption of sodium and potassium. It would cause muscle weakness. No. Drinking too much electrolyte water or sport drinks may lead to excess consumption of sodium and potassium. It would cause muscle weakness. I do not like the taste of water. What can I do? 
I do not like the taste of water. What can I do? For the above mentioned drinks, it's best to taste them in moderation. For healthier drink options, you may try to select the brands marked with sugar free, calorie free, low sugar, or low calorie version. However, drinking water is still the key. For the above mentioned drinks, it's best to taste them in moderation. For healthier drink options, you may try to select the brands marked with sugar free, calorie free, low sugar, or low calorie version. However, drinking water is still the key.